In our last video, we talked about how you could compute the forward rate for a given year using zero coupon bond yields. But what if you don't know a zero coupon bond yield and you do know the forward rate? Well, actually, there's a way that you can calculate the bond yields for zero coupon notes based on the forward rates that you have, assuming that you know what the forward rates are. And we've got this really nice formula that's going to allow us to calculate just that. So let's jump into an example and I'll show you how it works. So let's say that you didn't know the yield on a five-year zero coupon bond, but you did know the forward rates. Here I've got the forward rates for the next five years. So you've got these different forward rates here, and you can essentially just plug them into this formula above, and we can go ahead and actually calculate what the yield to maturity is going to be on this bond. So let's go ahead and start plugging in. So we see here we have one plus the forward rate from year one. So that's 7%, so that's the same as 0 0.07. So we'd have one plus 0 0.07 is gonna be that first term. And so what do we have? 1.07, right? So we're gonna multiply 1.07 by the next term, one plus the forward rate for year two. What's the forward rate for year two? It's right here, it's 6.8%. So we're gonna have 1.068. So we're just taking one plus the forward rate for each of these periods, right? It's a five-year zero coupon bond, so we're going to go all the way up to the forward rate through year five. So we're just saying 1.07 corresponds to the 7%. 1.068 corresponds to the 6.8%. 1.062 for forward rate three, 1.064 for forward rate four, and then 1.067 corresponds to the 6.7 percent interest for forward rate five so it's just that simple we go ahead and we take the product of all this and that's going to be equal to one plus the yield for year five which is what we're trying to compute but then we raise that to the fifth power so that's going to make our math a little bit a little bit interesting here so what we're going to do to make this well, what we want to do is get the yield of maturity just alone by itself right now we could subtract one by each side and we're going to do that in a minute but we've got to get rid of this exponent so what we can do here let me just give ourselves a little more space here but let, let me just calculate out so i'll just give you this is be 1.378 equal to and then you know what let me change colors again let me make that purple one plus the yield to maturity for year five. Oh, excuse me, yield to maturity for five, okay, to the fifth power. Now we have to get rid of this exponent here, right? We've got to get rid of that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take each side, we're going to take to the one-fifth power. So let's go, I'll change up and we'll make this orange again. So we're going to have 1.378 we're going to take to the one-fifth power. And that's going to be equal to, now when we take the right-hand side here to the one-fifth power, that one-fifth times five, that's just going to be one. So then we're going to be left with one plus the yield for that fifth year for the zero coupon bond, which is what we're trying to calculate. Now, we can go ahead, if, if and I've just I've done the math for you, this 1.378, which is rounded, by the way, to the one-fifth power, uh, and then that's going to be 1.066, and again, it's, it's rounded, so if the numbers don't match up exactly with yours, it's all right. So 1.066, and that's going to be equal to 1 plus the yield that we're looking for, for that zero coupon bond. And then now we just subtract 1 from each side, so that's going to give us 0 0.066 is equal to our yield to maturity on a five-year zero coup on a five-year zero coupon bond and another way of expressing that 0 0.066 is we could just say 6.6 percent that's the same thing it's just in our way of expressing that decimal so what does that mean that means that we have used these forward rates by plugging them in to our formula above Right, and I, I probably should have mentioned, I just have here one plus F to the end. That just means you continue on to whatever year zero coupon pond you're trying to calculate, right? We're doing a five year here, so we go the forward rate one, two, three, four, five, and we go on to that point. But if it was a seven year bond, 
then, then we'd go all the way up to year seven. So it's easily, uh, we can take this formula and apply it no matter how many periods there are for the, the yield that we're trying to get on the zero coupon bond. But in this case, it's a five-year zero coupon bond. The yield would be 6.6%. 6 